Hey gang, welcome back to Opaw's Diecast Rex and Restoration. Today we got a little bit different one. We got Tom McEwen's Hot Wheels, the Mongoose. Pretty play worn. The hitch in back or hinge in back was busted. So I knew I'd have to figure something out for that. Interior was in pretty good condition. The wheels were the Hot Wheels snap-off. So, to save money, I decided, well, I'll just redo those wheels. And to drill out the little rivet for the motor. Ain't much of a post on it. So I knew when I put it back, I'd have to glue it in. That's right, dummy. Hold on to it. This post was a son of a gun. But I finally got it. Like I said, there wasn't much post on this. Time to dip the body in our favorite stripper. Glug, 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 glug. I came back an hour later and literally the paint just fell off of it as I was picking it up. So I filed out the burrs that were still on the hinge part of the body. Got a large paper clip. And it turned out it was roughly the size the really weird design Hot Wheels had on this. They put the post right next to the very, very end. So you knew the time that kid was going to snap that one off. So I, uh, Filed down a notch on either side, right at the same location as the old pin. Now we're going to give it a little buff up on my wheel. Again, I know I've had some people panic because of the size of the wheel, but it's really... A very fine wheel you can stick your finger on it while it's going and it really won't hurt you I 
took the motor and the base, put them in a little lime away, use my husky jaguar to hold it at a little bit of an angle. Then I took my small brass wire wheel and polished it up a little bit. I didn't want to make it perfectly shiny because after all it is a funny car and it's going to have a little grime on it. Motor shined up really nice. Then when I was all done I uh, hit the body again a little bit with the brass wheel. Then I took the base and the motor and sprayed them a couple of coats of lacquer, clear lacquer. Time for a little primer. Ain't that pretty? After that dried overnight, I hit it with the red paint. Got this muffin buttered. I don't know about any of you other restorers out there, but I have a little uh, Black & Decker toaster oven, and when I'm done, I put them in there on the warm setting for 20 minutes, kind of bake that on there. I don't know. Maybe it does good, maybe it doesn't. I took the interior two pieces, the cockpit and the raised bar and dip them in the pledge after I cleaned them. Don't forget the cover. Keep the dust off of it. There you go. It's the weirdest suspension piece I've ever seen on any of these cars. motors all that they have that holds it in. Put a good glob of the CA thick glue on there. Take my little bottle with the baking soda. Okay, dummy, move the camera or move yourself. Like I said, the wheels were in really good condition. They weren't scuffed up. 
the red line were still very crisp and predominant. All I had to do was get the chrome slickered up. And when that dried, I dipped all four of them into pledge, let them dry overnight. I think you can see from the results they turned out really nice. And I went ahead and snapped the cockpit and the lift bar back in. On this back hinge, I ended up making a couple of saddles out of some brass strips sorry for my big head or big hands I should say glued them in and then after I got them glued in I filled them in from the side with a little JB weld and it turned out great started putting the decals on, which there were a lot of, but I wanted to go authentic, so I cut them all out, laid them on this sopping wet paper towel here to the side, while looking at the picture of the original. on the computer. Here's what we started with. Play worn, scuffed up, two pieces. Needed of some love. And here's what we ended up with. The only sticker that didn't come with the kit was the Goodyear sticker. And you can see the blank space for it at the bottom of the door. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I got more to come, including Don Perdome's The Snake in the near future. For now, this is Opa saying goodbye.